education by offering high-profile performance opportunities for student musicians such as this one. These special events are meant to empower, enrich, and to foster a lifetime appreciation of music for the participants while we simultaneously raise awareness for America's veterans. This year, our program is dedicated to the 10th anniversary tribute, excuse me, the 10th anniversary of 9-11. There are many reasons why we're here today and why we're going to perform in the parade tomorrow. Dr. Philip Smith knew that coming to New York City to represent the tiny community of Mariposa in Northern California near Yosemite National Park would be a once in a lifetime opportunity for his kids and against all odds, a dream come true. It was the most ambitious project in the 75 year history of the school, an economically challenged school with 600 students. In late 2010, Dr. Smith and his boosters began a remarkable effort to get the band to New York. The entire community of 1,800 residents, veteran groups, community organizers, civic groups, and major corporations provided grants. Literally thousands of individuals gave contributions, including Tom Hanks and recording artist Sheila E. As a result of these extraordinary efforts, the band is here today proudly representing their community and the state of California. For Shannon Foley, class of 2013, Westfield High School, Westfield, Massachusetts, it's very personal. Shannon sent me an email sharing her reasons for wanting to participate in the Band of Pride tribute. In Shannon's words, Tara Shea Creamer is a woman to be remembered. At age 30, she held a managerial position with the TJ Maxx Corporation. 